<laughs> Hello everyone, and we're back with another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I have to have the default on this one, why didn't you even give me that option? Anyways, um, on my first video, the Firewalk Thrash, um, I realized some of the music in there, um, two pieces, the two pieces that were played, um, is actually apparently copyrighted, didn't know that. So, um, yeah, it was flagged for copyright. Anyways, I didn't remove the music because I figured it was essential, so do, if you want to watch that episode, you gotta watch it on YouTube.com, and I can't make money off that episode, which kind of sucks. So, hey. yeah. The hell? Um, Out of the car, Chloe. No choice there, late. didn't want to remove it, it was too good, and so yeah, sorry, but yeah. Anyways, it is lagging. Why? Shit. Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I see everything. I'll warn everything. I've got to do the cinematic sequence again. Sorry, guys. Hello, Black Hell. But I'll make the same requests as normal. I guess, or the same one request. 1310. I really wish there was much talk about doing the scene. Honestly though, not. Not a lot. Hey! Chloe! Oh! Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. It's I heard you had a hell of a night. A little bit. I mean, people are talking about After it. All, they did people hook can up, eat a so. dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But <laughs> sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. Alright. See you in chem. Yeah, for sure. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Oh, that's what she's writing on her hand. I knew. Okay. Meh. So that's well, why. At least not for now. Remember when I said she had something on her hand? How could I possibly oh. make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. Maybe. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. That does work out that better. Uh, my my face now. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Don't know what that means. But that is. Damn girl, that eye looks sick. What's going on? 
Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, meth central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <sighs> hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. Huh. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. I talk to you? No, no, no. Oh, hello, Evan. Evan. Ah, Evan. Amazing photographer, but such a bleeding heart. What soapbox is he on today? Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Especially right now, it's like an orphan's fires. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I, I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Wow. Say knob cone again. <laughs> no. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? <sighs> Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping so out with the public. So never he was interested. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. Should I really sign it just to kill How out? seriously am I taking this right now? Uh... There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Principal Dixon. Oh God. I'm what? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. All of it was signed with fake names. Well. Okay then. I'm not gonna talk to them the other minute though. Finish up other stuff and see if there's any place that it pictures around here. Samantha. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Mm. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. Oh, she seems too scared. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally, I don't but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? I think it's a sad book. Uh, the know. story is about how relationships only work if I've people are willing people. to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. No, I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so I it's cool. People always say that. Students. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Huh. I really didn't mean anything. She seems so concerned, like... Seriously. 
Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Yeah, I'm going to talk to her. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. No, no. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What, with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> God. Tell what, what Victoria? Thing. It's a photo. Big deal. But it's on Facebook! Mm. I, I mean, that basically means you and Rachel are like BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. Dude. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? I mean, look at your face. Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. Why would Rachel Amber ever hang out with Carrie Price? It's Chloe. I wish I was sabotaged her. She wasn't being that mean, so. But now she was mean, so I shouldn't do it. Seriously. Skip. This guy's name is Skip. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. <laughs> so, you That's spending true. a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, Tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. Speaking of doing people favors... Ugh, yeah. Guess I've been hanging around Justin this morning. His odor must have latched onto me. Uh-huh. Glad to see all you high risks sticking together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. So, I went to the mill last night. Caught Firewalk live. Oh, yeah. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw Firewalk? I don't know. It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, all. sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, yeah. huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Why the fuck not? Yeah, okay. Great. It's pretty fun to follow. Oh, but it's not bad. I'm not a big fan of the music like this for the lyrics, but the beat is pretty damn good. So, what did you think? 
job with those cars in my life. That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Ooh, what happens to this guy? Because I know we don't see him at all. Let's see, there's still no Justin, so we might have... Chloe, what's the latest? Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Uh, yeah. you? Are you saying I smell like weed? That's exactly oh. what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Price. Want to hit? Like right here? Uh. <laughs> Thanks. I guess now I won't smell like weed. Dude. That's that's always good. Smell like weed. Not smelling like weed is a good thing in school. Need my Miss Grant, oh. the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this oh, hypothesis? Oh, oh, oh. That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. What is oh, manganese your sincerity's stuff. overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. I thought I'd support support STEM too. Since Lon's in the Let's go with that. Look at it this way, Miss Grant. More art classes will keep all the smug, self absorbed types out of your science classroom. Articulate as always. I'll see you in class, right, Chloe? Hopefully. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. <gasps> but fire's so pretty. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Um. Yeah, that is a little bit of a confusing poster. I, I get what it's promoting, but that is. No sucking on tampons, it's the law. No smoking is what it means. But it seems like nobody controls this corner. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel yeah. posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Well, you're in spot then. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Mm. Nah, fuck that. Mm. Okay. Not walk the stage. Sit. Oh. 
I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. What sort of town in this one? Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Hmm. Job. Oh. This isn't gonna go well. Principal Wells. Hey. Stay cool, Chloe. You've got a marijuana flavored bag of expulsion in your pocket. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm. Uh, yep. I hope you know that Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? No. Miss Price, the sign clearly Thanos. says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I didn't do it. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know um. Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Thank God for Justin, or I'd be royally screwed right now. Mm. You don't smell like marijuana smoke. But I know you students have ways of masking your use. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, no, Miss Price? No, you do not. That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? Shit. All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. Figured it was better to not have the principal search me and figure that I apparently have weight on me. Flowers always make me think of springtime, which makes me think of summer, which makes me think of getting the fuck away from Blackwell for three whole months. I love flowers. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. <laughs> Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. So... That is the question. She said she had weed in her pocket. What am I supposed to do about that? Now... Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. She doesn't seem like the one to do that, but... If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. He wouldn't understand. Try me. Give me I a break, a nerds. Bit. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Blade Runner. Of course. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? Seriously? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night, or was it just like a friend thing? 
I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, she you might. should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Uh... Why the fuck not? What the hell? Game on, nerds. Character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? <laughs> Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In That's other like words, Chloe. Chloe Price. Wow, yeah. you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You are yeah. both famous heroes in the kingdom of Avernon, a once peaceful land now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you in greeting. I am Elama, oh, well, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, Calamastia. Calamastia. Super into it. Not bad. The two heroes. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? Um. Let's go with the A. It says right here that I taught your precious King Tiberius everything he knows about fighting. So. Alamon, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? You oh, yeah. gave her that elf barbarian. I did. Elamon bows deeply. I've heard of you in the castle. King Tiberius owes you his life. It's an honor to fight alongside you. Damn straight. <laughs> you stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your oh. choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Um, let's go to the training ground. Loot sounds good. I'm let's one go to the who training ground. Sweet. I always Upon search, like, arriving at the when training I, when ground, when you are spotted by a heavy this. set orc who when immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Oh, okay. Shit. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill. Bam. You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. If anything, I Holy think this shit! Would get <laughs> See um, why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy-set orc sergeant still remains. He runs right, at you um, swinging YouTube. a massive war well, hammer. That's all all yours. A fatal cleave. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, it's unlikely any loot oh. survived. Dang. Don't 
worry, Alamon guy. We all make mistakes. Alamon? No, it's Calamastia, the elf barbarian, is most wise and forgiving. What's next? <laughs> well, fuck. Prison Guess camp? Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. You behold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? A dragonkin are like little dragon people. Oh. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Oh, okay. Hey, shit face! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. Intimidate. Intimidate. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. Well, you can I, try. Uh... What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. Which means he can't- I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Oh, yeah. Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use- Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? I wiggle my hand. Hey, dragonkin guy. Want to become my meat puppet? How it works is I shove my arm up your ass to your head, and then I can control your mouth from the inside to say things. Uh, he doesn't seem to like that idea. Neither do I. The dragonkin pleads with you. Please don't harm me, tall one. But I cannot give you key. Durgaron, much taller and meaner than you. I Maybe we'll just wait here while you die of old age, dragonkin guy. He is undaunted. I will eat your face, elven garbage lady. Elven garbage lady? Eat my face? I'm trying. <laughs> I show him my fist. I call this the Ripper, because it's really good for reaching down dragonkin throats and ripping out dragonkin stomachs. The dragonkin cowers before you, looking left and right. He opens his jaws, and you think he's about to yell for help. I interrupt his yell by shoving my axe into the cage, pinning his head to the bars without hurting him. Then I say the following. This is going to be good. Here's what's up. I'm going to carve the skin from your yeah, bones. Darling. Then I'm going to turn your skin into a little leather handbag that I'll shove your skinless body into so I can carry it around with me wherever I go. <laughs> that way, the next time some asshat refuses to give me a key I want, I can pull your body out and show them what happens. How does that sound? <gasps> uh, <gasps> wow. That was... What? I'm going to give you a... Plus ten bonus to charisma. Go ahead and roll. A small pool of urine collects under the elderly dragonkin as, hands tremble, it hands you the keys. Then, it dies of fear. Awesome. Damn. Yeah! Go team! Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. Shh. What's next? Well, it's it's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a cool. two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. 
I got this. I cast Zael's Cataclysmic Cone of Fire. The fire fizzles out on contact. Durgeron laughs oh. again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit. All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Can't use fire. Hmm. Rough. What's oh, Wrathful Rush? It's like a shoulder slam, an angry, angry shoulder slam. Okay, I do that. You scream with wrathful rage, then charge. Durgeron is caught off guard, and he fails to dodge. You slam your shoulder into yeah. him, knocking him back and doing some damage. Hell yeah. Next. Fuck it, brutal punch. I want to punch that stupid man cow in the dick. Like, right in the dick? Right in the dick. <laughs> oh, God. You miss. Durgron bursts out laughing as you stumble past him. Asshole. He kills you in the side with a horn. Ooh. Eight damage. Ouch. What do you do next? Last dance. Oh, <gasps> holy shit. Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble uh, of metal. Uh... Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Shit. Oh no. Three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Oh god. Um, Legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. I am so sorry. Durgeron used for the legs. crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgeron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Shit. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgeron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He okay. charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Shit! Oh, no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgeron laughs as he impales you oh, on his blade, fuck. lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. <laughs> and we're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgeron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? Swing for his arm. I bring my axe down onto Ooh. his arm. The one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Fuck yes. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. Yeah, yeah. His bracer of fire immunity clings to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgeron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Yeah. Damn, Elamon. Durgeron is defeated, but your wounds were too oh. great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. That makes sense. I, I actually kind of feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Mikey's got serious drawing skills. Oh, neat. When did you draw this stuff? Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the game, nerds.
I have absolutely no idea how long I've been recording. Check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Which is a little bit of an issue. However long here. Prison wall. Hmm. Dominoes will probably come after. Question is, I have absolutely no idea what prison wall would be. I would prefer not to miss it. M miss it. Miss it, though. But I don't know. What is. Oh, the papers. Hmm. If I'm late to class, that's just one more excuse for mom to sick David on me. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Prison mob. I don't know, man. Maybe it's inside somewhere? I don't know. I guess I might win that one. Because she, I think she calls school with prison. So, prison wall. What have you got here? Twitch? Don't call me that! True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh, wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back! I hate that you're on the team now. <laughs> you're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. The mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Damn. Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. Holy shit. Shouldn't you know something, Prescott? Talk. I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. What is it that he has? Oh, no. You're a piece of shit. I am going stop to it. kill you. You guys, stop. Chloe, do something. Don't just stand there watching. The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Idiot. You're not used to a word that big, are you? <laughs> Don't be scared. These are fun challenges. You're seriously defending Nathan Prescott? Picking on someone your own size, which I hear is pretty small. Oh, you're such a crazy freak. Mind your own business. You have no idea how crazy I am. Keep pushing and find out. You want a piece of this? You mean your budding bromance with Nathan? <laughs> into him. Just pull his hair already. <laughs> did you just laugh? I did. Chloe just owned you. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, fresh meat. You shut the fuck up. Why wow, Samantha? Samantha. <laughs> fuck yeah. Guess you got lucky this time, Prescott. Had two girls show up to save you. Take your pervy picture book. Are you okay? You think I need help? From you? Damn, Nathan, you have to be a Are you alright? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. As soon as I can open it no matter what. Kinda of bugs me. That was awesome though.
No, of course not. Apparently, yeah. mm. something's going on with Tempest. Obviously. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Marijuana, serial killer. Marijuana doesn't kill. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. Mole people? Oh, good. You're here. We talk. I would like to know how long I've been recording, but that split's been a little bit annoying. So yeah. I do beseech you. I'm gonna have to edge, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda. Indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, oh, have, and many a time have listened so, so. to or rather many a time the harmony of their tongues hath I listened to Hayden you're killing me you've had weeks to be off book sorry Mr. Keaton no don't apologize to me apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating and to your other fellow actors Just and most of all that. to yourself Mr. Keaton so sorry to interrupt but does this look better I, I had my mom take it in a bit Rachel looks awesome. Yeah. That's this awesome. is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> well, huh? Yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. I was like, what? The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? Yeah, never met Tempest. What do you think? Or read it, seen it. In my defense, I believe in true love. Sometimes, when so. you meet someone who's going to change your life, you just know it, I guess. Also, you've got parents coming to see the show, right? At 20 bucks a ticket, it's gotta be true love. Wow. Yeah. A romantic and a cynic. That actually kinda helps me. Thanks. Mm. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Okay. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh, what? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. Was it like wasn't a big deal. Time. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, y yeah, sure. So I'm going to grab her belt. Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? She's... She's having issues. She, she's never felt like this. Um, hold on a moment, guys. That's how long have I been recording? So apparently this has been almost an hour right now. Honestly, hey this now. one was not fun. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Stuff. 
to internet or not to internet. To internet. I have feelings about this. Oh. Most of them are not good feelings. <laughs> Why do theater kids take themselves so seriously? And there's them. Julia Watson. Dana. Okay. I'm like, I recognize her. Um. This poster definitely says <sighs> something. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Well, shit. Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Comment. What to say? What to say? Well, this is the prison level. Bit of much. Playing the part of the bitter, passed over, talentless hack, VC. Let's see. Oh, over here. Rachel. And another page there. Okay. Suck a D. VC. It's weird, however, I bet I missed that one though. I bet this was just drama nerds. Damn it. That really sucks. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the uh, the Tempest. I guess the Prescott donation doesn't cover this. Pencil fund. A pencil fund. You're that low. Sweet on collar, Pepe. Shit. Should be life is drama. Must be a hundred costumes in here. <laughs> Am I the only student who's not in this show? Rachel Amber, drama star and guardian angel. I still can't believe that was her last night. Her fidgety. Hold on, Nathan. The way of our animal animals. Just keeping it real. <laughs> so I definitely didn't miss prison law then. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta turn up the heat. Did Hayden really steal all the pencils? I'm gonna guess it's from Logan. Oh, yes, yes. Rachel asked me to get her belt. I guess it's in the other room. Gotta grab her belt. That would be something good to do. Uh, so it's right here. That's the nicest backpack I've seen in my life. That's quite a nice backpack. Hmm. Rachel looks so happy here. Dad? Damn it. Didn't listen my way. <laughs> Okay, after I give her her belt, There's Rachel's I'm belt. probably gonna end it because I think it's gonna save. I hope it saves. Guess I'll go give this to Rachel now. Still annoyed I miss prison walls. Sucks. Uh, Rachel? Is this your belt? Yes! <laughs> Thank you. I don't know, man. She's like all confused. <laughs> that was a cool I outfit. really liked your costume. Thanks. I'm just surprised there. So, 
Did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. This is new for I'll her hold because you to that. she's never wants to have a friend, so. Well, I'll least, let you finish changing maths, now. But after what happened with the dad wallet, this is like holy hell. Do I have an extra friend? Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. I, I, I'd never seen Firewalk live. Pretty fierce show. We'll have to do it again. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? What is Rachel thinking? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't uh, have to end. Exactly. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? <laughs> Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye. That is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Um... No way. Are you kidding? This is a badge of honor. Respect. Let's get the hell out of here. This is not what I expected Rachel to do. Like at all. Like, we didn't know much about her, but... How? Crap, I promised it was to be in, it was gonna be fast. Well, I said there was a high probability of it. Oh, we're here. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Are we happy to train? Well? What the hell am I getting into here? I don't know, man. We are literally hot in the train. Where does this thing go? North? Maybe we'll end up in Seattle. Seattle. Yes. Pull up a chair, Price. The view's amazing. Okay. Um. Anyways, guys, I'm. I'm uh, actually gonna pause. I'm gonna end it now. Um. Because if I don't, this is going to be way too long. I will definitely see you in the next episode. This looks like it's going to be really interesting. We're not even done with the first episode.